Inventory is the primary tool in Echo MTG. Uh, there's a lot to it, and it's extremely helpful once you start getting all your cards in here because you can learn a lot from it. So I'm just going to go through each piece to explain. So collection value is the value that's tallied up for today's date. So prices come in every morning and update. So this is the most up-to-date um, price total of all of my cards in my collection. Uh, no, this is a mid price, not a low price. The acquired value is, if you notice on this row here, you can actually set the acquired value. So I got this Path XL for $3, so I just change it to 3 um, The acquired value is important because that's basically what you invested into the game. Um, so if you had all your cards in here, you'd know what you'd spent to date. I know there's other things that are in the game, but just based on cards, that's what it is. So then all time gain and loss is the percentage of which you gained on your acquired value to your collection value. So right now it's a 59% increase for me. Um, and then right to the right shows the profit. So basically um, so much, I mean, it's really only profit if you're able to sell your cards for that price. But generally in the system, it's showing what the difference is and the profit. Now on the right is total cards. So... I'm tracking mostly my cube, um, so yeah, I have a pretty big collection value and acquired value for 300 cards, um, but that's showing 300 cards here. And then below, there's our quick add tool, which is a link to a video on how to use it, which is going to link to this video, and an import tool, which will let you import a CSV, which we'll show in a different video. And then along here, we show how many foils, mythics, rares, and commons and commons we have in our inventory or collection. Uh, so the quick add tool is the most important tool over here to get going. Uh, you notice that there's this F button. F in our system stands for foil. So if I click it, it turns foil on. And there's this number, which is one right here. And you'll see what that does. So I have foil on, and I'm going to go ahead and get a Vendillon click. And... We're going to add it here, and you notice that the second I add it, everything retallies. So we get a new collection value, new acquired value, uh, foil number, everything. So uh, Echo MTG is extremely dynamic. I built it to be that way because it's really just a playground for me to test all uh, new programming stuff that I'm learning. Um, so notice we have the click, and you can actually click right into click, and it'll open up. And I'm just going to use the back button here to go back. See some buyouts there. So I have click in my collection. So when you add from the quick quick add up here, it sets the acquired to today's price. So I'm actually going to put it at the price I acquired it for. And that won't recalculate right away, but if you want to recalculate, you just click on all, and it will show you the calculations of increase. Um, so you could add multiple items by just changing this number here from 1 to 4 and let's just say I want to add 4 Delver Secrets and you can see these guys here and I actually have foil ones so I'm just gonna just update them to foil and I acquire them for 4 piece uh, so in the system you can actually use the tab button to get around which is super useful um, and notice that underneath acquired, we have the acquired dollar amount and the acquired date. Uh, so I actually acquired these guys back in 2014. I'm just going to copy and paste this and go like this. So continue on from this top bar, you'll see right below it's search. So I can search for something like Termagoyf or Delver secrets which is convenient it's quick to jump around very fast search uh, or I can actually drop filters down so my lands colorless blue etc black uh, so this is a quick way to jump around and then you can scroll and this top toolbar always stays fixed uh, so if I was to remove uh, Liliana you can see that the top toolbar automatically adjusts everything's um, very responsive and dynamic uh, so from each one has its today's value and this slash and this little one in gray that's actually today's low value. The seven day is a number that 
its change percentage from the last seven days. So we clicked all, you'll see that click has gone up 2% in the past seven days. Uh, the gain loss column is a column that's based on your collection uh, acquired value against today's value. So acquired for $50 today, 153 is roughly a 200% gain. Uh, then the acquired date is the date that you acquired the card. Um, so moving over it one more time, you see there's a plus and a minus button. So if I want to quickly add another click to my collection, I just hit plus. It will by default add a non-foil version. And if I want to say I sold the click, I can just click sold traded. Um, and I have a chance to undo this. Notice this is a premium feature and I can tr change in what I sold it for here. Say I sold it for 30. Um, and then that's actually going to update in my earnings tab. So I'll just take a quick look at that. There's a click, sold for 130, acquired for 50. Very nice, showing my calculations, my gain loss on my sell. So I'm just clicking back in the inventory here. And running down to tab, you're going to notice that there's multiple pages of stuff. So you'll have to click down here to go through pages. I mean, this is okay to use this, but generally just search for something. It's a lot faster. Uh, so that's a nice little overview of the just inventory tool itself. It's good to know that when you're browsing about inside of Echo, say go to Thermoglyph here. Let's go Brian Stout on. Way more exciting. Stout arm. Um, you can actually add your inventory for here. So let's say I add four of these guys and add a foil. And I jump back into collection. And there he is. And I don't want him. So see you, dude. All right, that's the run through. Thanks a lot.